This interview is sponsored by the Zaza Kings. Make sure you guys go check them out on Richmond. Follow them on social media at T H A Z A Z A Kings with the Z at the end. Tell them DJ Malone, Chicago 77.3 sent you. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Carolyn Scott, and I'm rocking with Chicago 77.3. We lit live. This is WPPC Chicago. Yeah. 77.3, your hottest digital station. Now, now. now in digital HD sound. What's going on, people? How you guys doing? It's the one and only DJ Malone, man. Chicago, 77.3, the best place to be at on any day. Ready? How you guys doing? I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and uh, I, I hope you are, too. Um, now, you guys know... We're in um, we're in Houston right now, and this is this is really kind of a, a, a cool situation, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, um, because I, and I was telling her telling her this offline. We wasn't we it, when the situations that we were in, we wasn't designed to make it out. Nope, it's not designed for us to thrive and, and be in situations. So this is a beautiful thing, man. So um the person I got coming up, man, she came to uh she came all the way from Vegas. They come mess with your boy, man. Caroline Scott, what's going on, man? Hey, How you hey, feel? hey. What's going on, DJ Malone? Man, I appreciate you being on here. Thank you for having me. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. Good. I'm feeling good, yes. The vibes since I've been here have been amazing. The people have accepted me and received me with such love. I really love it here. That's Houston is it. Hey, Houston, Texas, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, age time, man. We see you. So yes. um, now you had just came off from doing a thing in Milwaukee. Yeah, I had a show in Milwaukee two days ago, and then I had to come here for last night. I've been moving and grooving. <laughs> yeah. So how was the experience all last night for, for the, uh, the the stuff that I put together? It how- was great. Great. I actually love the turnout. I was actually um, highly excited because everyone there was positive. Everybody there was for the scene. They were for the music. They were in yeah. support of every artist there. And there was some cuties there, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, 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 it wouldn't be a DJ Malone one without without was, some baddies. in there. there. <laughs> so, yeah, that, definitely, man. You got to p- perform. How was that performing and everything in that in that element? You know, before I got on stage, I was dealing with some personal things, and I took it out on stage. Real? I took it out on stage, and my uh, one of my close friends that came here with me, her and her cousin, they saw it. They said, whoa. Real? Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I let it all, I left it on the stage. <laughs> was, was that, was, I mean, I'm pretty sure they've seen you, you know, perform, mm-hmm. but, but was, was that like something like... Yo, that's like a different type of level. Yes, yes. When you're when you put whatever it is you're dealing with out on the stage, Real. you're going to give a different level. Real. Going Real. to completely. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So let's go. Let's go. Just in case anybody who does, doesn't know, same on you if you don't. Um, tell my listeners and everything about you, and and just a quick overview on what you do. Well, I am Carolyn Scott. I'm a singer, songwriter, model, musician, entrepreneur, and business owner. I travel the country singing my own songs that I wrote from this left hand. And <laughs> and God is everything, and God guides my path. I am currently the only singer I know that travels the country with no manager and still gets paid to do it. Um And I thank God for that because I just let God lead me, man. I literally just let God lead me, and it works. (laughs) It works. I think. I think too is is that um, you you just have a a fierce about you, like you're a force. Yeah. And 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 I think and you know you know coming from from where we come from, and when I refer to that people in the in the foster care system, Mm -hmm. you you develop a a chip on your shoulder. So it's like, nah, ain't nobody messing with me, Joan. That ain't happening. Mm-mm. So um, you had, you grew up fighting for everything you got. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. everything, beds, seats, even even my damn noodles. But hey, hey, yeah, for yeah. real, for real. 
It is what it is, man. So um, now what you got going on, man? What's, uh, what new projects you got coming up? Well, I am currently releasing another record. I'll be releasing another. Actually, you're the first to know this. I haven't told oh, anybody wow. this yet. It's true, I will be. <laughs> I haven't told anybody that. I will be releasing a new record, if not May 1st. Mid May. Okay. So in the next couple of weeks, I'll be releasing a new record. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I and gonna... shooting some videos for Tired and what you allow. I haven't shot videos for that yet because I've been moving and grooving around the cities. And Tired's going crazy though. I know. I know. And I'm so thankful. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for loving that record because I wrote it from my soul. I wrote it from pain. I wrote it. From real experiences and the reaction that I got from the ladies last night. Yeah. The reaction was wild. They love that song. They love Tired. Them women was in there yeah. singing it by the time before I was done singing the song. They yeah. were in there, I'm tired of being tired. Yeah. All the women. And I'm like, you know what, Carolyn, you got something here. Yeah. You got something yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna go with it. I am going with it. I'm t- look. I was tired of being tired, Malone. Yeah, but straight up. But uh, see that, and that's that's how. Hey, but that's how it, it, it starts. I'm yeah. tired. Of All being the tired. women felt that, and you know what? I even made it a point to let the men know you can enjoy this song too. Yeah. Because I know you tired of being tired as well. Yeah. I know. First of all, I got five brothers. And I'm the only girl. Okay. So that's and so I, I know bet for you, a fact they put that, you on game. Yes, I know for a fact. That no, actually no. I learned a lot of stuff through t- trial and error, okay. and I know for a fact that a man's going to do what he wants for the woman that he wants. My brother told me they did put me on game. You, you know what? I'll take that back because my brother, my brother told me there's only two type of women on the planet. Okay, only two. Okay, the one a man don't care about losing, and the one he's afraid to let go. Hey, that's a deep hey. That's deep. My right brother there. told me there's only two type of women on this planet. Wow. And he told me, but sis, you need to be the one he's afraid to let go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, gotcha. <laughs> but that, but that, that's real though because. <laughs> gotcha. Be, and, and that comes with, you know, you elevating a person's life. Yeah. Yeah, I can, I can, you know, do this for you and, you know, walk the bam, you know what I'm saying, the whole time, you know, give you a little, you know, sex here and there. But you, if you elevate somebody's life. That's a different type of story, you know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. hey, you know that's definitely right. So, are you are you single right now? What's I am. On? I am. I'm actually going through a breakup. Oh, 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 so oh, yes, oh. I am single at the moment. Well, oh, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry. Hey, hey I was what? tired of being tired. Hey, that's what it is, right there, man. <laughs> I was tired of being tired. So, when do you find time for you? You're moving and grooming. When do you find time to just chill? Um, when I walk my dogs. Okay. <laughs> when I walk my dogs, uh, mm-hmm. that's when I chill. Okay. Or like, honestly, I I make time for me. I'm not gonna lie, I make time for me. Even if even if it's the smallest things, I'll spend that extra 15 minutes in the shower. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just on some meditation. Just I don't want to think about anything right now. I just want to hear and feel the water. You know, so yeah. I do that a lot. I I meditate. Um, I. I pray. <laughs> yeah. I watch BMF. <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, I, I I like I like wait no power. <laughs> so so oh, oh, speaking of BMF, man, yo, I I ain't gonna lie. I thought they they killed the 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 new girl, the new black cop. I thought they killed her off too early. I feel the same. I I felt like whoa, okay, but you know who irritates me. What? And I know you know who I'm about to say. I can't think of what her name is, but she just uh, irks me. The, the daughter? No. Like, oh, no, the, honey. Lala's cancer gang. I will always love her. Uh, oh, the, uh, the, 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 the chick, little, man. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the little girl. Yeah, yeah, okay. She, she's irritating me. <laughs> she's irritating me only because I feel like she's overacting. Okay. I've been in Broadway and theater for the last decade. Okay. I feel like she's overacting. She's it, it, And it's just, it's not coming across great. But anyway. That's neither here nor there. Yeah. Uh, I love BMF. Um, I absolutely love La La Cancer Gang. <laughs> would, 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 if they asked you a role, would, would you be? Of course. Oh yes, and Terry is fine. Oh my god, <laughs> that's that's my uh, celebrity crush. <laughs> so, so and, and what tripped me out about it was okay. Remember the dude that um the first guy, the bl- the black guy or whatever. When I guess he was dating Cast or whatever, I forget what his name was. Yep, mm-hmm. Lamar. Yeah, and 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 I felt like they killed him off too early. 
Yeah, because Meech needed a uh, he needed a, a nemesis. You're right. Yeah. He needed a nemesis, but they felt that they were just gonna make multiple. I, I mean, I I I respect and I honor Fifty Cent for taking this story, mm. but him caring enough yeah. to say, "Hey, this is." This is interesting. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. a shout out 50 Cent Cancer Gang. Hey. He's one of us as well. Oh, he's, he's a cancer? Oh. <laughs> petty. That man is petty. Hey, <laughs> and I, I know. love it. <laughs> are you are you are you are you petty like that? Like like well, what's it the petty, What's the pettiest thing you ever did? <laughs> the pe- oh. Honey, I don't know. I, <laughs> I can't think of that off the top of my brain. The pettiest thing. I'm not really petty actually. I'm not I'm not a petty person. I'm the one you don't want to argue with. Okay. okay. Because my my shots hit hard. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to hit you psychologically. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'm not the one you want to argue with. Okay. I'm going to tell you how you had a horrible childhood and your trauma from your childhood is why you are the way you are today. Oh. Like, yeah, I, I'm deep with it. I think, too, is that in this day of age, man, it, I'm not saying, you know, arguing and toxic and good, but conflict is okay sometimes. Oh. I, I will be. I will be the first to admit that if I haven't seen my man for a while, I am angry. Yeah. I am frustrated. I am not gonna be happy on that phone until you calm my emotions. Like yeah. because I, I love hard. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean. And I'm the type of person that does not give my love easily. Yeah. So when you, if you find yourself inside that bubble, yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate hey, it, that's please. That's what it is, man. <laughs> so you spoke upon acting. Mm-hmm. How, how did how did you get into acting? I got into acting in Las Vegas okay. in this company called Broadway in the Hood. Shout out to Broadway in the Hood because I'll actually be working with them again next month at the Smith Center in Las Vegas at okay. Reynolds Hall. Cool. And that holds about... 12,000 to 15,000 people. So it's going to be an amazing show. It's a tribute to Broadway. So I'll be a part of that okay. uh, May 25th in Las Vegas. Um, I I absolutely love this organization. And shout out Tori Russell, the head of the organization, because of the fact that it is Broadway in the hood. Mm. I get that. Tyler Perry, I mean, I'm sorry. Tori Russell used to be Tyler Perry's assistant. Mm. So this is okay. a stellar man. Yeah. Teaching theater etiquette to less fortunate children. That's what's up. And I love the fact that he does that because you know why? One of the children that he did that for, her name is Tashi Thomas. Okay. And she was the youngest, highest paid black actress on Broadway in The Lion King in New York City. Hey. <laughs> and guess where he found her? In the hood of Las Vegas. Hey. You know what I'm saying? And guess where else she is? She's also in that Jeffrey Dahmer movie. Yeah. You remember that scene when they took that Asian boy back? Yeah. And that little girl with the big afro? That was her? That's Tashi. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's, that's Tashi. That's she came up. from an organization called Broadway in Hood in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's what's up, man. Shout out Broadway in the Hood. Hey, man. That's a, that's amazing, though, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. So and so now you know you you're doing the acting and everything. Well, you're doing a plethora of things, but the acting and and I just noticed that you were in the movie. Yeah, I'm in a movie. Well, I'm in a few movies actually. I'm in a movie called Deeper Than Law, and I'm also in a movie called For a Fee. Okay. Yeah. So, and yeah. So how do you get how do you get ready for the roles? Like how do you be in in person? Well, I guess in that actor, like that person or the, whoever writes the script. How do you get in that mode to to be that person. Well, you have to read your script. <laughs> oh, yeah. You read the script, you, you know, try to envision what you think that character may be. Yeah. You, you try out, um, I mean, I just, for me, I like to be a, a method actor. Okay. And that's something I learned from Denzel. Okay. Denzel is the type of person that will go sit next to a crackhead for three weeks because he got to play a role as a crackhead. Yeah. Yeah. He's that type of person. So is Keanu Reeves. Mm. They're that type of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what I feel is the greatest. Yeah. So I personally will make myself that way. I, I want to be uh, this girl that you feel is um, angry and she's uh, mad at the world because she got kicked out of her mom's house at 16 mm. and now she's pregnant with no help. I have to envision yeah. what that would feel like I get in that. order to portray that character. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So you just put yourself in their shoes. Yeah. Yeah. You, Me, for um, Well, that's what I do. Yeah. I mean, but you have to, though. 
You have to, because otherwise it's just going to come off. You you could be the person that's playing the character, or you could be the character. Facts. I want to be the character. Exactly. That's why everybody, a, a Jason Statham movie, a Denzel movie, you don't have to even know the title. People going to see it. They're yeah. going to go see it. Yeah. <laughs> let, me, let me put this in the universe. When they, do a, when they do a movie Hello. about you. And, and they, Receiving it. Yep. They, they're going to do a movie about you. Receiving it. Who would you want to play you? Sky Jackson, because mm-hmm. everybody says she looks like me. <laughs> everybody says that's my little daughter. So <laughs> I would say Sky Jackson. Okay. And my older version, Tiana. Mm. Tiana Taylor. Okay. Because she has that edge that I had on my shoulder at 15, 16, 17. You know what I mean? She yeah. has that chip. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, I just that movie. She just had a new movie come out. No, a couple a few months back. I forget the name of it, but it was basically she took in a little boy, mm-hmm. and and she just her acting was really really on par. I can tell. I can tell Tiana's amazing um, because I knew Tiana was amazing when she was in Tyler Perry. Byron. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was amazing then because yeah. as much as people saw that annoying, yeah, that was amazing acting that she made you yeah. hate her. She made you yeah. be annoyed by her, that's which art. means she did great. Yeah, that's that's an art right there. Uh-huh. It's, it's, she it's did a, great. It's an art to make people hate you. Ask that one. Uh, what's Charles? Yeah. <laughs> Don't trust no brother named Charles. Don't yeah. try- <laughs> Got to be more careful. Got to be more careful. <laughs> It's Charles from uh, the Diary of a Mad Black Woman. His yeah. name was Charles. Dude from BMF. His name is Charles. Oh, I didn't even think about <laughs> Don't that. Don't trust a brother named Charles. Charles, man. Stay away from the brother's name, Charles. Or Charlie. Charlie. Did. My dog's name is Charlie. Oh my god. My baby. What kind of dog? Is I that? have a poodle. Oh lord. He's a multi poo, and I have a stormy. I have a um, a border collie too. Okay. Well, I'm definitely not coming over. <laughs> I, I, I got bit when I was little, and I never got over Oh, that. no. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. So, but I did, too, actually. I got bit by my cousin's dog while we were having a fight. Mm. The dog mm. broke up the fight. I bet, I bet it did. <laughs> I bet. Rest in peace, Jade. <laughs> R.I.P., man. So now, um, you know, I know, I know we talked about what you got coming up and everything. Now, as far as uh, performing, uh, mm-hmm. Where are you, what's the what's the next? Where are you performing next? Well, I'll be performing May twenty fifth at Reynolds Hall in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Smith Center. I will be performing a flu a few places. I I'm, I'm not myself without my calendar. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad at you. <laughs> I'm not mad at you. I'm not organized either. I am not myself without my calendar, but I know I have the Sin City Seafood second year uh, anniversary party coming up. Uh, me and my crew are also putting together a Tina Turner Turner um, show. We're going to be doing a Ladies of Soul show. Wow. Okay. And I, I'm going to be doing Tina Turner, Billie Holiday, and Etta James. Okay. And I can't wait for that because I absolutely love those women. Um, up, man. Oh, honey, I am. I'm. If you can't tell by the victory rose, I'm stuck in 1950, and I love it there. <laughs> what, well, like, like, what was so? I, and I feel like that was such a vengeance time. Yeah. Um, Silvery was at its highest. Um, it was, and, and the music and the vibe it was just so different. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Everybody wore suits or the classy get ups and everything. Now you know then going to the store just like that and it's just, it's just, it was just a different time. I like I wish I could go back without yeah. the segregation. Right, that part. <laughs> Actually, you know, I learned something um back in the day about the era of depression. Okay. A lot of black families didn't get hit as hard because of the strength that we were already only borrowing with each other. Mm. We were already poor. So it wasn't a big change. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, and I, I, I learned those things from my grandmother because she still has certain ways about herself yeah. that remind me of the time she came from. Like, okay. for example, my granny will save a half of an apple okay. in the refrigerator. Oh, my God. And I'm looking like, Nana, if you don't throw this apple away, but... 
I had to think about that time she came from. Yeah. What if it wasn't no apples coming next? Yeah, yeah. Because it wasn't, it wasn't like a factory that I go, and it's right. somebody come in with right. a shipment. I had to think about that, and I actually honor and appreciate some of the ways that she's taught me like that, because yeah. I know how to save, baby. Hey, <laughs> that's what's up, I man. know how to save, yep. You know, you know what, scares, what scares me, though, is in probably in the next 17 to 20 years, that generation. It's going to happen again. It, it, it's just, it's. It's scary to me. Well, when I saw a video of them talking about we're going to have 3D meat, <laughs> they, they printing meat. What? <laughs> uh, you know what? I knew something was up. Let me tell you. My, listen, my your, senses are on. Oh, because I remember when uh, it was at least eight years ago okay. when Beyonce and Jay-Z went vegan. I knew something was up then. Because oh, how God. you get a girl from Texas to stop eating meat? How you get a man from New York? To stop eating meat. I knew something was up. I yeah. knew something was up then. <laughs> yeah, man. And robots are coming. They're coming. They're here. They're uh-huh. here, man. I'm, I'm- I saw that, actually, in the, in the airport. Oh, my God. Yeah, I saw it in the airport, bringing people their food. They got little robots. It, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Honestly, if, when you look at what's going on, people need to start preparing to have online businesses mm. because – I hate to say it, but the United States is going into, and this is just my opinion, I feel like they're going to start, as if it hasn't already started, they're going to start eliminating the middle class. Oh, yeah. yeah. And that is dangerous. Yeah. And that see- is dangerous. Um, they already started in in um, Las Vegas. 99 cent stores are closing. Mm. All 99 cent stores are closing. Wow. And... That's going to hit a lot of families hard because 99 cent stores in Las Vegas aren't just uh, a store. pick up little things. Yeah. They have food in there. They have clothes in there. They have mm. so much stuff in the 99 cent stores in Las Vegas that shutting that down is going to be hard on a lot of families. Wow. And I'm just praying. I'm praying that people understand that multiple streams of income are the only way to make it in yeah. the future. I'm praying that people understand to save. I'm praying that people will use your credit to your advantage. That, and preach about that credit, man, because I, and, 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 and we're not taught that, you know, growing up. I wasn't up. taught that at all in school, at all. Yeah, it, it, it's not because, and, you know, it's, it's by design, same thing. It's mm-hmm. by design, but I think once you realize, okay, I need to really make payments on time, people, um, get you a little gas card. You ain't got to go crazy on it. Just spend twenty five dollars a month on it. Mm-hmm. Build up that credit because this is what's happening. You can I, and I try to get an apartment. You know what I'm saying? And I'm used to just going up to the guy and saying, "Hey, yo, man, I'll pay the extra deposit or whatever, whatever I need." Mm-hmm. Now they're going so hard on, "Hey, you got to have six hundred. Mm-hmm. And it, if you don't have that, they're not talking to you. Mm. So the credit thing is coming more and more. Like heavier, mm-hmm. and and they know because we don't have that. You know what I'm saying? And just a tip for those who are listening: if you have um, credit that isn't that well, a, a small tip that can help you literally, like almost within like a month, get a Chime card. Go get a Chime card, put two hundred dollars on it, and pay your light bill every month for six months on that card, mm-hmm. and your credit's gonna jump up. I promise you. Mm. And if you have any family members that are in any reserves, yeah. ask them, can you have a Navy Federal account? Mm. Because getting a Navy Federal account jumps your credit at least 100 points. Wow. I it did know. mine in like four days. My credit jumped 100 points with a Navy Federal account in four wow. days. So just a piece of game for y'all listening. Hey, <laughs> and I bet you the interest. And hey. And I love you, baby. Don't say I ain't never give you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet you, man, that the, the interest ain't 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 as hard, isn't it? I know. Actually, you get a you get um, credit. I've been getting credit every month. They give you money for keeping your account in good standing. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. I mean it's it's like a dollar, but yeah, they give you money for keeping your account in standing. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a that's a good I love right there. I love us for real. <laughs> so, uh, who would you like to work with, uh, music wise? 
alive or dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do. Uh, I always ask people that when they say that. Well, uh, you know what? We're going to start with the dead. Yeah. Let's start so with the dead. if they were still alive, oh, honey, Billy Holiday, my number one. Mm. My number one. Um, Frank Sinatra. Okay. My favorite song in the world is My Way. I did it my way. Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I like that song. <laughs> my favorite song on the planet is Frank Sinatra, My Way. Um, and let's see, who else? Lena Horne. Okay. I would love, would have loved to work with her. She has that song, Sea Line Woman, Sea Line. Yeah. I love that song. Um, let's see, who else? My father, rest in peace to my father. Mm. My father loved Tina Marie. Mm. He loved Tina Marie. He wanted me to learn how to sing that Square Beard song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted me to sing that. Um, let's see, who else? Mahalia Jackson. Okay, okay. Because that the power in that woman's voice. They said she didn't even need a mic. Yeah. Mahalia would sing in, rental, in halls without a mic. That's crazy. Like, how is your voice that strong? Like, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, Let's see, who else? Who else has died and gone that I would love to work with? Um, Those are some powerful people, though. Yeah, I mean, I like powerhouses, baby. Of course, naturally, Whitney. Yeah, (laughs) But I I wouldn't even, I, I don't think I would get on track with Whitney. <laughs> I don't think I would get on track well, with it. I'll just be in the background. Yeah, I don't. I, but, but but I think I think I think that'd be cool though. Yeah, I, I would be so nervous. I would be like, huh, huh, "Am I doing it right?" <laughs> like, do, do you like me now? Right? Do you, you like, like me? me now? Is it, is this the right note? <laughs> like, I would be so. I, I would turn to a little kid around Whitney. I would yeah. turn into a little kid. Okay, now alive. Absolutely, Brandy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the voice of my generation, Brandy. And I don't care what nobody say, Brandy will sing your favorite under the table. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> uh, Jasmine, of course. Okay. Who has agreed that Brandy will sing her under the table? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Fanny, my baby okay. Fanny. Fantasia, baby. My baby. She can go. <laughs> my baby Fanny. She can definitely go, man. Uh, who else? Um, of course, the Queen Bee, honey. Of course, Miss Beyonce. Yeah. You know what? I have a story about Beyonce, actually. Okay. Um, oh, when God. she was doing her Miss Carter tour, get this. Okay. She touched my hand. Let me tell you, let me oh, tell you something. God, let me tell you about that. I actually um, had great seats. Okay. Uh, back in the day when I used to smoke weed. Was, were you smoking my weed, the, man. Was you, you, smoke, you were smoking the Reggie or you were smoking the... Uh, oh, no, honey. We don't smoke Reggie. <laughs> uh, well, we all came from Reggie now. No you're man. right. You're right. But this is this is more recent uh, uh, than that. So, so, so it was the Zah. <laughs> uh, what was they calling it before Zah? Uh, uh, loud. Yeah, it was loud. It was okay. the loud era. Okay. Loud era. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, he took me to the Beyonce concert, my old weed man. And his cousin was is Beyonce's videographer. Okay. So I was sitting next to Latoya Luckett and Luke James. Boom. Yeah, well, you, I had the greatest seats. You in there? Uh, the greatest seats, right? So she comes over there. She flies over on her little thing. Yeah. <laughs> flies over there, and she comes down. And she's literally touched my hand, and I'm just like, damn, her hands are soft. Hey, little. <laughs> or I'm like, damn. <laughs> wow, that I, felt I, like glass. I'm, I'm, the, I don't think I could ever like, watch. I don't, I don't think I could ever watch. I might have to get me a No, uh, I wasn't even tripping like that. It was just her hands were so soft and little. It felt like the most delicate flower. <laughs> delicate flower. <laughs> it loud. felt like. <laughs> Hell no. And then she, uh, get this, this was crazy because as an, as an artist, yeah. you know when somebody's going to pull you on stage because I've done it. Yeah. You know when they're going to do that. Yeah. This woman looked, she gave me the look. Okay. And I knew that what she was about to do, Mo. And Malone, yeah. I fell backwards on the chair behind Oh, me. my I was, God. I was so scared. Oh, my God. Literally, while she was looking at me, I fell backwards on oh the chair behind me. It's me. It's no, me. It was, no, she was literally call, about to call me. But because I, 
No, ma'am, I ain't ready yet. I wasn't ready yet. Oh, she called God. the Asian boy next to me. Oh, <laughs> man, man. I wasn't ready yet, Malone. That could have been your end, yo. It was going to be my moment, but I wasn't ready yet. <laughs> oh, my God. I wasn't ready yet, Malone. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I just fell over the chair and was like... <laughs> <laughs> you ever, Joe, do you ever look back at that moment and say, I could have been? Hell coach. yeah. I look back at that moment like, damn it, Caroline, you should have toughened up. You should have <laughs> got on that stage because she was about to call me, man. I know she was because she called the boy next to me. I know I'm not tripping. Yeah. You know? So it was just, that moment was great. Okay, back to the list. So a live, um, you know, Melanie Fiona. Ooh. And we ain't heard from her in a while. But that baby's voice, her voice yeah. is stellar. Her voice is top tier. Um, let's see, who else? Anthony Hamilton. Uh, she, you pick, I like Anthony yeah, yeah. Hamilton. I love his voice. Yeah. I love the raspiness. Honey, that gets me every time. The raspiness in his voice is so amazing. I love when men sing. Yeah. When they actually sing. I have a friend. I, I have a friend that has the most amazing voice when he's singing. Yeah. But he likes to sing in falsetto. Okay. And I'm like, I, I love the fact that you can do that. Yeah. But baby, when you get in that tone, I almost pass out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to tell him, like, I get that you think that that's beautiful. But, baby, we need some soul right yeah. now. The yeah. world needs pain. The world needs an expression, yeah. an outlet, somewhere that somebody that says it's okay to feel. Yeah, yeah. That's what's missing right now. Yeah. The fact that everybody is afraid to feel. That's why all this... Garbage music is popular well, well, because nobody wants to feel. Because they just want to dance. Because when you feel, you have to attend to emotions that you don't really want to. Exactly. To. So it's like you know, and and you know, singing it takes you to another. If you get it right, it mm-hmm. takes you to another place. Listen, yes, it does, and that is the greatest high known to man mm. being on stage. And I'm telling you, it is. Okay, I'm going to tell you, Malone, I have a song called Black Girl, right? Okay. And yes, a lot of my songs, a lot of people know, and they'll sing it with me. But this one, Black Girl, when I'm singing Black Girl, those girls in that audience are screaming it with me. Yeah, yeah. They're screaming it. I'm a black girl. I'm a black girl. They're screaming it with me. Oh, man. So that high, so looking down at people screaming what you wrote yeah. back at you is a high you can't buy, Malone. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get that with crack, dope, man. You can't get that no, high no, because no. it's mental. It's 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 endorphins that are released in your brain. Yeah. That, baby, I've been chasing that high <laughs> ever since. Yeah, man. And and that's what it is. That's when you see artists that were all the way up here, and all of a sudden they done got on drugs because yeah. they chasing that high. Yeah, they're chasing that feeling again. Because because here's my thing: if you if you you're singing out. Mm-hmm. And and when you get to that peak, cause I I get to it when I'm DJing. Mm-hmm. So whenever you get there, it's like, oh my god. Yeah. When yo when you DJing and you look out and everybody in the room moving. Yeah. Yeah. You feeling you like yes, I did that. Yeah. Look when they look this day and age when they're not on their phones and they're yeah. actually dancing, you know you did that. Oh yeah. yeah. Because because and see and I come from an era of where. You had to move. Like I, mm-hmm. ca- I came from, I, and, and I'm not, I'm not, you know, old, old. I'm so, but I came from an era where you had to know what you're doing mm-hmm. because instantaneously they're gonna let you know, nah, that ain't, that ain't it. Facts. So it's like a sink or swim type of situation. Now everybody, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe he was just trying. No, he's just trash. Let's just be honest here. So, um, some people just need to hear that. Not saying that you can't get better. Right, but you need to tell people that they're garbage. Yeah. I'm going be honest. You need to tell everybody listening in Radio Land and everybody watching, please tell your friends when they suck. Yeah. You know why? They're going to be highly embarrassed when the rest of the world tells them. Be a real friend. Tell your friends when you don't like their stuff. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and, and give them critique, too. Like, like really take a listen to it. Like, oh, I felt like it could have been better. The tone right, was off. Right. Don't just say, oh, that's your trash, bro. No, yeah. don't do them like that now. Yeah. 
Yeah, because sometimes, and you know, some, sometimes when I tell artists, I like what they're saying, I just don't like how it sounds. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they, you know, you could take offense to it, I don't give a damn, but it's, it's the truth though. I've ran across artists that have had an amazing hit hook mm. in trash verses. Yeah, I've, I've seen, ran across that. A I've seen lot. that. I've seen that a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you know, the hit is the hook is a hit. Yeah, literally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that, that's the reason why they came up with them quick. Uh, them now they coming up with them DJ quick hook uh, songs. No, oh. so they're, they're edits of just the hook. Wow. And and they they take out the verses. Oh wow! And what's crazy is now with that it passed thirty seconds, so it's still going to count. Oh God. Well, you know what? Y'all go ahead and spend time to be tired for 30 seconds. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Spin that for me, baby. Hey. <laughs> let me ask you this. And, and I know I know we're coming down to nitty gritty, but let me ask you this. It's fine. It, as, a, as, a, as a songwriter, mm-hmm. how do you feel about AI right now? Because it's, it's becoming a thing where you can just type in something, boom, it's, it's a thing. Can you spell plagiarism? Can you spell unoriginal? Can you spell unauthentic? What? Yeah. You're letting a computer write your record, but you want the world to feel it somehow. Yeah. How? When songs and words release vibrations. Yeah. Yeah. They release frequencies. This is a real thing. Real. And, and, and... I'm not trying to make me seem like I'm better than anybody else, but I feel like singers and musicians and people that do music have a a, a, a doughbell to God. Not like nobody else don't. Yeah. But we got like a a doughbell, like hey. Yeah. A clicker. Hey, can you hear me up there, brother? <laughs> like yeah. you know, I feel like we have like a little doughbell or something. And the reason why I feel like that is because music is the only thing infiltrated into the brain without the mind's consent. Yeah. And that you can Google. That's why I feel like when you're out and you're being a musician and you're expressing yourself, you better know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you don't know who you are, somebody who knows the power that you have and know you don't know what you know is going to seep in there. They're going to seep in there and use you. Yeah. Yeah. For whatever they want you to be used for. Yeah. That's that's definitely right. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just being honest. Like, there are a lot of artists that are being planted in the industry right now. Yeah. Planted on purpose to guide. The the narrative. Yes. To guide the narrative. And when Cat Williams said it, he was 100% right because this is something that's been told to me 10 years ago. Yeah. Exactly. By G. Craig Lewis. Shout out G. Craig Lewis. This man went across the United States telling us about how the world was going to try to infiltrate the church. Yeah. He went across telling us about how the church was going to try to be more like the world. He went across the country telling us this 10 years ago. Yeah. Years ago. So my so the God that I serve already has prepared me. Yeah. Yeah. He already told me the stuff I need to know. Don't get me wrong. I still learn every day. Yeah. But I am a sign follower. Okay. I follow I the agree. signs. I am a sign follower. That's the only way I'm who I am today because I, I let go and let God. I yeah. said, oh, well, he said go here. I'm by myself, God. I ain't got nobody else. Ain't nobody going with me. Don't nobody want to go. I didn't ask you that. Yeah. Yeah. And... <laughs> And it's worked. It's worked, man. It's worked, dude. It has. That's like, good. there's amazing, so many though. times where I've been by myself and I just, it was just me and God. Yeah. Straight up. So don't get discouraged. Don't be dismayed by the fact that you're alone because guess what? If you did it by yourself, you ain't got nobody to pay. Hey, boom. Boom. You ain't got nobody to pay when that check comes. Because I did it by myself, me and God, and my t- my friends. Yeah, I'm going to pay my friends that have helped me along the way. Hell yeah. My videographer friends, my um, background singer friends, my dancer friends, the people that have been around me for the last 12 years, the last decade, are who I'm going to mess with. And they can attest to you that I don't make new friends like that. 
Mm. I love my friends. I absolutely love my friends down. I do not play about the people I love because you know why? If I tell you I love you, I mean it from my heart and my soul because I don't tell people I love you. I say, what's up, friend? I say, hey, homie, or something like that. But if I call you sister, if Mm. I, what's up, sis? I love you. Yeah. I love you. I don't take those words lightly. No. I don't take words lightly. (laughs) (laughs) Not supposed to, though. Not supposed to at all. Mm-hmm. I think. I think too is is that I, um, what I what I love about you is that, like I said before, you're fierce in that, and and that you come off your energy is vibrating. You know what I'm saying? So whenever you step on the stage, I already knew yesterday. Yep. I already knew. What 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 was she gonna with? command this yeah. room? Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know this if you if you know this as soon as you stepped on and you said. You 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 know I'm your first word exactly. Everybody turned around. Like Boom. <laughs> even hey, I even uh, and, and Jack, I, I, I the, uh, the 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 uh, promoter guy I was with, I see him bobbing his hair. Mm-hmm. He he was looking. Okay, okay. Yeah, some okay. guys. You know, when I sing "Stay," it's always it's always amazing the reactions because I have grown men. That come up to me like, man, I was just in my feelings, man. You almost made me cry. Like, yeah. whoa, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, for real? Well, I was crying when I wrote it. Thanks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for the energy transference. Because I, I'm tired <laughs> of being tired. Right. I was like, yeah, that part. Well, I wasn't crying when I wrote that. I was fed up when I wrote that. I was pissed off when okay. I wrote so you were, that. So, so you were you, you, uh, waiting to exhale type of stuff. I was on my boy left eye Bible. No, okay. I was about to burn it up. It okay. Was, <laughs> oh, boy. It was going down. Oh, it man. was going down. I feel bad for that. Man, guy. you make a cancer mad, it's your fault. <laughs> no, I mean that because we love, man. When you see me, immediately my initial reaction is, hey. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Everybody knows me knows that. Yeah. If there's an attitude coming from me, it's something you did. It's mm. something you did. Yeah, you I rubbed me the that. wrong way. You said something crazy to me. You were fake with me. Mm. You tried to punk me on the low because you thought I was soft. Yeah. I've experienced all of that. Because <laughs> they look at me and see a pretty face but don't know I'm from Milwaukee, baby. Hey. I'm from Milwaukee, sweetheart. <laughs> Man, Joe. Let me let me let me ask you a deep question, man. By you know, we're both from the Midwest. How do you, when you look back at your life now and you see all the things that you have accomplished and the, everything that you have gained, how do you feel looking back at it now? If you could go back and talk to your younger self, listen. Well, that's two different questions. Yeah. <laughs> but how do I feel now? I feel blessed. I feel. Thank you, God, for listening to that little girl that was crying to you. Thank you, God. That's how I feel. And looking at me now, wait, what was the second part? Uh, If you could go back to What would I say to myself? You got this, (laughs) G-Ball. You got this, Carolyn. Don't worry. Keep going. You got this. Um they going to they gonna try to push you to the side, sweetheart, but God got you. Yeah. That's what I would say to my younger self. You are the child of a king, and he's going to prove it. <laughs> and he's going to show up and show out for you, baby. You just hold on. Because if you would have told me 10 years ago that I would have ever gotten paid to leave this country the first time I ever left America, mm. I would have looked at you crazy. But the first time I ever left this country, they paid me to go sing in Japan. Hey. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I would have gave up 12 years ago when I was auditioning for American Idol. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Was Simon still? Was Simon still? I didn't even get to see Simon. I I, I didn't make it that far. I was, I was, yeah. Forget it. No, no, let me tell you the story about that. I actually woke up fifth in line for American Idol with strep throat because back then I was a very arrogant, mean singer. Mm. And God had to sit me down and teach me that lesson like, ma'am, I didn't give you this voice for you to be like that. I gave it to you for you to make a difference in this world. And I'm going to sit you down and teach you this lesson right now. Yeah. Yes, he did. He sat me down and taught me that lesson right then and there. I was fifth in line for American Idol and woke up with strep throat. Imagine. 
the day. Imagine. 19. The peak of my voice. I'm talking about the peak. Yeah. And it was my fault. I messed my own self up trying to be arrogant. Mm. And so I'm going to tell y'all, God don't play. Favor goes both ways. Yeah. (laughs) Favor goes both ways. If you playing games with the gift he got you, he will sit you down. But he also will open doors for you. So favor goes both ways. And I had to learn that lesson. But um, I mean, I just feel blessed. I do feel blessed. I feel like I'm not where I'm going where I'm going to be yet. Yeah. I'm still hungry. I'm still moving forward. I'm still moving up. But I am very blessed and yeah. highly favored and I'm thankful. I think you're always gonna have that hunger though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, 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 th- <laughs> I think I think even if even if you get to you know, what right with Beyonce, I think nice. you're always gonna have the hunger because off of off of and I say and I know I revert to it, but we come from that that chip, and we we mm-hmm. spoke upon that chip, and nobody's taking that chip from me, man. No, yeah, yeah. Listen, a lot of people fear death. Mm. Homelessness is my worst fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homelessness yeah. is my worst fear. Yeah. I never not pay my rent. Yeah. Anybody that ever anybody ever uh, rent a house or, or I buy a house from, I got to never worry about me. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Cause, cause, I will I will do whatever it takes to make sure I'm not homeless. Because because we don't know. I, I, I can't I cannot have that. Yeah. That is a trigger for me that will never yeah. be accepted. I and uh, like I told you, my, my first time having my own room was my at my own apartment. So that was the very first time I ever I never had my own room mm. growing up. Wow. So whenever I whenever I got one Mm-hmm. It gives you a, a greater appreciation. You had the best sleep you ever had in your life that night, <sighs> didn't you? I know, I know, bro. I I, I ain't gonna lie. The first thing I did, I, I sat asleep. there. Yeah, yeah, sat there and, and <sighs> took that breath. Yeah, I I slept on the carpet for like three day, three days. Just, just you were there. Yeah, just because I was I was there, man. And I enjoyed just being there. Like I I ate on the carpet. I slept on it. I just like I'm mm-hmm. here. My first apartment, I was 17 years old, and I had nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. So the state gave me my first apartment because I was a homeless high school teenager. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, like I said, I don't look like what I've been through, and I thank God. Yeah. Nobody will ever understand my praise because you weren't there. Yeah. yeah. You wasn't there when I was sneaking my phone under the pillow because we wasn't allowed to talk to our families. Mm-hmm. You weren't there. Yeah. So you can't tell me about who I am. You can't tell me about this fire that's in my soul and my spirit because I ask God for it every time I hit that stage. Yeah, I haven't prayed without. I haven't hit a stage without praying since 2016. Mm. Let's start there. So the thing is, what you're seeing when you see me on that stage is me and God. Yeah. You're seeing me not be there because I automatically talk to God before I go on stage and I say, "Let's go. It's us. Let's put this. Let's start this fire up." Yeah. And he and we blaze, yeah. <laughs> and we blaze. Hey, hey. <laughs> man, Joe, that's, I just love and your stories. Blaze. I just love your stories, man, because it, it it comes from a very authentic Holly. place. I really do, man. Okay. Um, where can the people find you? MySpace, Carolyn what? Scott. Okay, Carolyn Scott. That's all I got to type in. Everywhere, anywhere, everywhere you listen to music, <laughs> Carolyn Scott. Just t- spell my name right. That's all you got to do. How, how do you spell it? C A R O L Y N E. See, the, the Y might throw people off. I ain't gonna uh, exactly, but I love my mama for doing that because I'm the only one. C A R O L Y N E S C O T T. Carolyn Scott on all platforms, anywhere. So all I got to do is type my name in. I've been doing this for over a decade, so I'm the only one. Yeah. <laughs> gonna pop up. Well, you might get an old lady dog trainer, but she's white and uh, she about ninety. Oh wow! <laughs> shout out to her too. <laughs> yeah, shout out Carolina rookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's been fun, man. I, I, I once again, I do appreciate one for even coming out. Of course, so, thank for, you for having me. I love Texas. I absolutely love Texas. And uh, and you know, this is good. And I and I felt I was like, yo, man, when I when I hit you about, it, I was like. I gotta have a come. Yeah, hell yeah. I gotta have a come because um, it, I just felt it was gonna be something. I didn't know like because it was a lot of people there. Mm-hmm. So, but I didn't know. I just felt like okay, I wanted 
to showcase people who you are because you're 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 such a presence and and your your gift and your gab it's just so cool to me man Thank it's you so, so dope. very much and and I want I want to share that with the world man so I can't wait till they make a movie on me yes I can't wait cuz they're going to be like what what yeah what watch <laughs> watch yeah, they're going to be like are you for real you mean the same chick that just smiles at everybody <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> but yes, I can't wait till God gives me that opportunity and that space to be vulnerable enough yeah. to allow that to happen. Hey, that's what it is, man. Uh, support, support, support. Always support the people I bring up here. You want to know why, people? They dope as hell, y'all. Uh, we do appreciate everybody for tuning in and everything else like that. And what well, this is what I want to do. Huh? Do, the, do it again. <laughs> My huh? dance moves. Huh? 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 Staying alive. Staying alive. Yeah, man. <laughs> so what I want you to do, you're going to look into the camera, and yes. then you're going to say your name, and I'm rocking with Chicago 77.3. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carolyn Scott, and I'm rocking with Chicago 77.3. Gang. And it's just like that, people. Make sure you guys support her. Everything that she got going on, because she's tired of being tired. I'm tired of being tired. Hey, man. <laughs> Stay in tune, man. Chicago 77.3. We out. Yes. Wow. We lit live. This is WPPC Chicago. Yeah. 77.3.